And nice try news. Nice try, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha. Submitted by King Joe 2020. Oh shit. King, not president. Please vote for me. And so he's moving to Vietnam. Oh, there's no king. An inmate is claiming he completed his life sentence because he briefly died. Ha <laughs> ha, that's tight. <laughs> that would be me. That's funny. If I died in jail king. and I came back, that's for sure what I'm fighting for. Loophole yeah. king. So his name is Benjamin. He is a convicted murderer who collapsed in his prison cell in 2015. They had to, re doctors had to restart his heart five times. So he did like five life sentences. According to him, yeah, what he's trying to do. And so he thought, he's 66 by the way. No. So he ended up recovering back at the Iowa State Penitentiary. Yeah. So he ended up filing a legal appeal because he said that since he died, he, technically served his life sentence. Also, they they went against his wishes of do not resuscitate. Oh. So he did want to just- Leave me alone. Yeah. He took his case and they denied it. And then he went again and they also denied it. And they said like, listen, it's either you're alive and you serve or you're completely dead. And the, the fucking, this entire case is- Able to appeal. In yeah. First place. So, Anyway, he's been behind bars since 1996 because he was charged after a 39-year-old body was found that was bludgeoned. And oh so God. it was near, he was found near an abandoned trailer in rural Iowa. And so they're saying here that he had, back then he was 43 years old, he had plotted with the victim's girlfriend before clubbing the man to death with the wooden handle of a pickaxe. Oh fuck. So the jury found him guilty of first degree murder and in 1997 he was sentenced to life without parole. So, That's like a crazy time. I guess he did serve his life though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that why they like sometimes say like three life sentences? Mm -hmm. Is that why, or I never oh. understood it. I think that's just like, excessive, like just to- To make a to, point? Yeah, the principle because like each charge was like murder, assault, like it was like bad, like they were each really bad. I think it's the court's way of doing a middle finger. So oh, if it's wow. three life sentences, like pow, pow, yeah. pow. <laughs> You'll extra never yeah. get out. Yeah, I Damn. just never, well, he, they should have given him a couple more. I mean, yeah, because well, I mean, he would have served three, right? Because he died five times. Yeah. Does he get out though? No, like I said, they denied it. And then, oh, so they okay. don't know if he's going to try to appeal it to a higher I would. Because uh, then that'd be the third time. I would, I'd be like, give me the fuck out of here. I died easy. already. But think about exactly. it. He's 65 and he's like, well, fuck it. I can leave my last five years here or Fuck outside. him. He took a life. He should yeah. fuck I don't think he thinks that way. If I was him, I so, fucking died already. So back when he, yeah. when his heart failed. Maybe he so could write a children's book. He was hit with severe septic poisoning because he had developed kidney stones that were so large it caused him to urinate <sighs> internally. So uh. Monster energy drinks in there too? <laughs> <laughs> so he fell. Steve is like, I knew it was genetic. I knew you can't even get energy drinks in jail. I've been getting energy drinks. Yeah, so he fell unconscious and he was rus rushed to the hospital. Hospital. Where, where doctors brought him back to life by administering epinephrine Not CPR. Through, through an IV. I would never kiss an inmate. Me too. He is claiming that- But what if it was lady jail? No, I still wouldn't. Yeah, right? Maybe. That is negligent to like leave someone suffering with kidney stones like that right. long. Cause that's... Well, that's not even his case. His case is that he's being held in prison illegally. Oh, bro. He had already- Died. He His sentence ended when he died. <gasps> and he um, said he didn't want to be resuscitated, but they did resuscitate. Yeah, yeah. That, that part he has a, he could fight. That would bother me. Yeah, I, I wanted to die and shit. Yeah. Could he choose to like get put on death row or something? Oh, right. I don't uh, think you could choose that because so many inmates would just do it. Yeah. If I was life in prison, why don't they I'd, just do it? I'd be like It's more expensive to kill drugs? someone than to actually just keep them alive until they die. It is? Yeah, I don't know why, but okay, I read why? on the internet. Oh, you don't know? Yeah. But I think it's maybe the drugs or like I don't Google know. Google this. Yeah, Google it. Well, I think that if I was a lifer, I'd look for the prison with the best food. So it's like, I would listen to rumors. Like, I'm you like, get to is pick? it better over there? Yeah. Yelp, then, remember the Yelp reviews? <laughs> the prison Yelp review. There is, there's prison reviews. Wow. And, then, and then you go, okay, can what you transfer hell? me to this jail? 10 times more expensive to kill them than to keep them alive. Why? Sure, I don't buy it. They're just keeping well, them alive because, because they're getting a check. They keep them alive at the bare That's minimum true. circumstances, you know? But they get money for each inmate that yeah, stays. Yeah, but how come it? they get- it Costs more to house death row inmates. Oh, to house them, maybe that's why. Let me see, hold on. Oh, cause death row is like um, yeah. kind of fancy, yeah. Compared to the yeah, but uh, how come general population. Just, yeah, I don't think, I don't know why just killing them is is cheaper than taking care of them. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm trying dude, to read this quickly. We do have a pretty 
crazy jo justice system though compared to the rest of the world. Crazy isn't bad or good? I think it's good. I think we have, I mean, I don't know. I don't have nothing to compare it to. Well, people, yeah, so people are like, I, we can do better, we can always do better, but I think it's generally good. Yeah, they said after spending an estimated $4.2 million for each death sentence, the state has executed no one since 1963. Shit. Why does it cost that much? I heard that Scandinavian jails are like European, some, some European jails are like really fucking good though. Like they, they feel like you just living in an apartment. Did you see the Aesop Rocky one? Why, what was oh, it like? Yeah, was it was good on the like surface, idea. but remember they were saying shit like it's actually really bad and stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, oh, like, all prisons bad? <laughs> it was not as worse as bad as here. Yeah. But they were saying like, it's not as what we thought it would be. But the prison there looked like, man, it looked better than some backpacker ass like hostel. But is that just because he was famous or is that for general population? I think it's, kind of like the stereotype that general population jail there, it looks like an apartment complex. Like it just looks like normal living and it's like nice and they have all this shit to actually try to rehabilitate uh, criminals nice. out there. Yeah. I wonder if there's butt rape culture in all the jails all over the world or it's only here. I think men get horny and all yeah. over the world and they fuck what they can. True. <laughs> yeah. That was a very straightforward answer. Oh, like yeah. I knew, I didn't know, yeah. but I just sold it. It I sounds wonder. about right. I get because horny some, all over the some, world too. But some jails yeah. aren't like, <laughs> so for example, like when you think of North Korean jails or whatever, or like, like political prisoner poor jails and stuff, right? I don't think the same gang ran jails that we have. I think like just broke people or people that's been through hard fucking times. It's. I think that's a different jail system versus our jails. It's like gangs and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But you you don't think that every jail forms like a community? Like you have nothing else to do. You know. That's why like, True. gay for the state is a thing. You know. Like in yeah. women's prisons, like women form relationships within each other, and they like you unite to whoever you relate to. You know. That's why there's like the Mexicans and the whites and the blacks or whatever. But here there's just so many different like kinds of people, that's why we group each other in those ways. Yeah. So this is Benjamin, the guy who tried to get out of in being in jail. Why does he look like a freaking like old school Star Trek character? He looks like an albino Asian man. What? No, he, he does. doesn't. He looks Asian. I can see it now. Like I can't an albino, yeah, yeah. say that. He looks like he smells really bad. Oh, oh no. Only because he's a bad guy. Oh no, yeah. he doesn't see like he sees the sun. Oh yeah, he does look Asian. <laughs> yeah, he looks weird. I don't see it. Yeah, a little bit, like the forehead and stuff. Yeah, I was definitely not looking at the forehead, but... It's so definitely an Asian forehead. <laughs> I don't know what yeah, an Asian like, forehead looks like. Usually it's like more flatter and... I could tell because Casey's forehead looks like that. Wow. <laughs> Comparing him to that guy. <laughs> this guy's trying to... I'll give him props for being yeah. creative. Mm -hmm. I'll give it to him. He's trying. He's got nothing better to do. Do you think he would still commit crimes if he got out? Who knows, man? Yeah, Who knows how would. demented and twisted his fucking Statistics mind is? Statistics show people, like, it's super high chance of going back. He's already, like, this conniving to be like, What? Well, I died. Yeah. You know, like... Mm -hmm. So I feel like he, he still has that mindset of, like, How do I get out of this yeah, yeah. type of thing? True. They're saying that... Uh, according to court records, hospital staffers made the decision to resuscitate him after talking to his brother. But his brother says like he only consented to giving him medicine to ease his pain, mm. not necessarily to resuscitate him. So, I don't know. Have y'all seen, um, I think it's called Locked Up Abroad. Yeah. It's fucking crazy, huh? It so, it's stories about like, people that live in America or like UK or whatever, and then they get locked up in like South America, Southeast Asia, or like these other countries, right? And it's usually because like, they were suckered into uh, trafficking drugs or whatever reason. And then like, they don't realize how crazy the drug laws are. Like there's this one episode where this girl was like, I guess she was moving heroin from Thailand or whatever. And when she went into Thai jail, she, was, she has all these stories of getting jumped by the girls there and all this shit. And like they sleep outside and shit, right? Yeah, like they, they sleep like just all in one big room on the floor. Is it on Netflix? No, I forgot where I saw it. This was, it was on TV, like it was like a series, but there's all these stories of people who had to do time overseas and it's no joke out there. Like there's like South American jails where like, it's basically like 
you go in and there's really no jailers or anything. It's all just the jail people running it, like the criminals running it all. And they're just caged up. And then like the trucks come and like they just give them food and then they just have to figure out how to do that on their own. If I have to get locked up abroad, I'll go to the Filipino jail. Why? At least I'll learn how to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Sing and dance is fun. Yeah. Yeah, they do all that shit. It looks fun. They have like this choreographed dance show that they pull off for tourists. And it, it went viral on YouTube like years ago. I think like, I, I know you what you're talking it? about. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks like a fun life. But it gives you something to do, you know? Yeah. You create something. They said like the violence, they said the violence dropped. Uh, a lot of the crimes dropped within jail because it gave them something to do. And like, they don't want their dance privileges taken away. So they actually really look forward to How it. cute. And the choreographer that comes in. <laughs> all these criminals are cute. That the, when the choreographers come in, like they actually really like. So the choreographers, they're not even scared of walking through. Yeah. Everyone loves them so much. And then you'll see, and it was funny is, uh, there's all these like bald Filipino dudes with like tattoos all over the place. And they're clowning on that one homie that has no rhythm and he can't fucking like learn the rhythm. It's tight, like they just all turn into like little kids.